vuelta y vive. Gotta live, gotta breathe, gotta eat, gotta dar la vuelta y vive. All right, pues, buenas tardes otra vez. We're here in another show of Dala Volta y Vive. And uh, today is an awesome day. Why? Because we're here, hombre. There's nowhere else that we'd rather be than where we're at right now. And that's you too, okay? Don't forget Father's Day is coming up, and we always forget that. If I'm going to do anything uh, with this podcast is I'm going to uh, bring that out. Because that's what the idea of Dalla Vuelta y Vive came up with. We came up with an idea. It's like, okay, so, you know, what has my life brought me to, to where I'm at right now? Okay. Uh, and really, at the end of the day, it's not money and it's not cars. It's not uh, homes or anything like that. Uh, it's wisdom. And, and that's what I suggest to anybody that's my age is go back and learn I'm not saying not go back and relive your life, but go back and see what you've learned because we've all learned something. And those are the things that we share with our kids. And a lot of times our kids, see, we got a lot of competition going on right now, okay? And this is, this is where we end up losing or winning. And the competition that, that, um, that we have right now uh, is technology. That's number one. That's the number one. It used to be friends, but now it's technology. So... Your daughter, your son asks you a question and because they really don't have to ask you anymore. They're really just verifying what they've already learned on social media. They're just verifying it with you, basically. Because when you answer the question, they always say, well, uh uh-uh, it doesn't mean that because I saw it and I looked it up on whatever and it said this. And so I'm like, well, why the hell are you freaking asking me then? I mean, don't ask me. Uh... But we're still dads at the end of the day. And, and it's important for us to always maintain that wisdom because there's no technology. There's nothing out there that's synthetic that can um, take the place of a dad. Okay. And I'm talking about dad if you're home, dad if you're not home. Don't sell you so short. Hey, you know what? It didn't work out with you and your chick. You're on. Yeah. You said bye bye, Lulu. And you're on your own. Hey, your kids are your kids and they're always going to be your kids. And they're always going to love you. So don't sell yourself short. And don't let no, I was going to say something, but don't let nobody just kind of like, don't let no female tell you or your wife or ex-wife or whatever tell you, you know what, hey, you can't talk to the kids. Come okay, no, I can't talk to the kids. I am going to talk to the kids. It ain't about money. It ain't about paying child support. It ain't about nothing, okay? It doesn't, one doesn't work with the other, okay? And say a lot of a lot of uh, people out there, I can't even say freaking women anymore. I can't, because now there's like pretty equal. Like I, I raised my son, right? Um, but basically, we're always using our kids as, as weapons uh, against each other. And so you always say, no, you can't talk to the kids because you haven't paid your child support. Hey, wait a minute, man. You know, child support is one thing and my relationship with my kid is another, Okay. Yes, and you'll understand that, hey, your kids need you. They need you here in their heart, in their mind, and they also need your cash too. I mean, come on, let's not be, let's not be deadbeats. Let's take care of our kids. That's what being a father is all about, okay? But at the end of all of that, you take all of that out, you take it out, what do you have left? Okay, I already took off everything except for one thing that I can't fuck with, and that's wisdom, Wisdom is the one thing that you cannot mess with because wisdom is what you've endured in life. The things that you've encountered during life, those are the experiences that you can say to your son or your daughter, hey, I've been there, I've done that, okay? And, and, and so don't be off freaking close-minded, okay? We're in a new era, okay? There's synthetic this, synthetic that, there's weed, there's all of these things, dude, Place yourself, always go back and think about when you were growing up, the things that you were doing, okay? And then bring them and multiply it. Multiply it like um, by 100. That's how different it is right now with our kids, okay? When it used to be like you're at at home um, talking to your girl on on the house phone because there was no cell phones and you freaking walked around and rolled and rolled and rolled that freaking long ass wire that that 
spaghetti cord or whatever all twisted and shit you know what i'm talking about and you stayed talking on the phone for like four hours kids don't do that no more they don't talk on the phone at all now it's all texting and they can freaking text for days um so that's how you multiply it and then you think to yourself okay well shit what's my daughter doing freaking talking to some guy what's my son doing talking to some girl at freaking three in the morning what do they have to fucking say at three in the morning the same thing you said when you were up to three in the morning talking to somebody on the phone that's what they're talking about this is where the danger comes in sometimes they don't know who they're talking to and we got to be open to that shit okay so that's why communication and that's where your wisdom comes in okay so dad if anything, if we're going to learn anything about uh, Dalla Vuelta Viva is that, is that we started this show as a dad wanting, wanting to take his last shot at uh, offering his kids, um, offering his kids uh, advice, whatever it is, you know, no quick scheme to freaking get somebody rich. You know, I got one of my kids that, that one of my sons, Kyle, is always freaking asking me, uh, I want to I wanna be an entrepreneur. I want to be fucking rich. And I, I don't have a magic wand. I don't have a magic map that tells you how to get rich. But I can tell you what what will get you there. And then I sit and I explain perseverance. Don't freaking give up. You want to make it. Uh, get your product. Get whatever it is. Uh, chamoy freaking. Uh, uh, what is it? What do you call that? Chamoy mix or whatever, or a freaking lollipop or a beer or whatever it is that you come up with and freaking start from the bottom up, figure out how you're going to develop it, figure out how you're going to make it and then get it out there and then start taking it to the flea market, start taking it to all these markets um, that they have, especially they got one going on in that couch on June 10th, get out there and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. There's people out there that are trying to make a living from what they build. Okay. And so so get out there, start selling your product and then sell it to a store and then sell it to a chain. And that, that's the way everything goes. That's with products, you know, services, same thing. Hey, start serving, start serving the public. You're going to say, well, I want to help people uh, with their, I want to help people with, let's say, for instance, I got a phone call today about uh, a will, a living will and a power of attorney. Okay. He says, hey, uh, I need a power of attorney. I need, I need a living will. Uh, and I went to an attorney. He wants to charge me freaking $5,000. I'm like, what the fuck? No, it, don't do that. Get on legal Zoom. Shit, I already freaking, you, can you cut that shit out? Well, if you leave it on, fuck it. But so get on one of these websites that make freaking documents for you and just do it. It's like 35 bucks and do your living will. But... So it's easy for me to say, right, because I'm on, you know, I'm in the mix. Did I charge him for my information? Did I say no? Could I? Yeah. So what do I tell Victor? So Victor, uh, you're really good at, at all this video stuff and all that. Okay. Are you really good that you can go out there and charge $10,000 for a video? Yeah, but not yet. You got to do mine for free. So you can freaking learn like really, really good. Then you start getting paid. <laughs> but see, the thing is, is that you have that advice and you tell your kids, you know what? You don't just jump into things. You analyze them. You take a look at them. You make sure that everything is in order. You come in, you start doing it for free. You start helping out people for free. Hey, but you're going to, you're going to shoot a, a, a video. That's all these won't be rappers or bands or whatever they want hey i'll record you i'll do a video for you guess what you never know you never know you can go and do a video right now for that garage band and in two weeks that garage band goes viral see another thing those are the things that we learn as we go that video goes viral who did that video victor de la cruz uh creative hive right creative hive did that video Holy shit. Guess what? The next guy's going to be like, hey, Vic, come and do our show. Hey, yeah, but you got to understand, one of my videos went viral already. So guess what? I'm charging $10,000. See, now you got something to sell. Okay? Those are the things. But 
Okay, so I'm giving all this advice, Dad. I'm giving all this advice, but this next advice that I'm going to give, I'm, this is this goes for uh, for the kids, okay? For the kids for this uh, Father's Day that's coming up, okay? So, you know, there's there's certain things that uh, that define a man, okay? It, it's really weird, and this and and you can when you go down the line, you define a man, and there's a meaning for everything, okay? So. First one that I can think of that goes dates back to my grandfather, uh, Rafael Chavez, um, was a handkerchief. Okay, that defines a man. Okay, so is the back then men used to carry with them handkerchiefs, right? And you may think, okay, well, why do you want a uh, handkerchief? It's not for your own mocos. It's not, it's not for you to take out and go, no, for that, you look for a freaking, you know, napkin or something and you blow your mocos, uh, boogers. So, um, what that handkerchief is for is for miss so-and-so, uh, sneezes and like the women's sneezes are like, like that. They're not like. Like we do like really loud, ah, sir, and everybody, you know, whatever. Women, uh, and you know, my hat's off to you all. It's like, psh, psh, you know, like whatever. You take out your handkerchiefs, ma'am. A- and that's anybody. It doesn't have to be like somebody that you're trying to get or whatever. It's just anybody. It- it's just the courtesy of a man. That that defines a man, okay? A, a-, a gentleman, okay? That's handkerchief, okay? So... That's the meaning behind the handkerchief. It's always being ready and prepared. It shows a person that a person is thinking of everybody, not just themselves. Okay? That's number one. So number two, got to be the watch. Got to be the watch. No matter what watch you got. Okay? Some people got the second hand. Some people have the digital ones like I do. And, man, I'm a freaking world of freaking commercials tonight. Can you cut that shit off too? I don't want to freaking promote this shit either. Okay, so I'm a, I'm just promoting shit today, Mikhail. Yeah. We can use that. We can cut. We can cut it. You can cut. If you don't think you gotta cut it, don't cut it. But because I already flashed shit around and stuff, and but it's okay. So, but the next one is the time. Time is. I'm sorry, dude. Time is uh, probably uh, one of those things that you never get back, okay? Once it passes, it's gone, okay? So if you're one of those people, one of those men that don't carry a watch, think about what I'm going to say, okay? I'm not trying to offend anybody, but you need a watch, okay? Because time defines the man that is on time, the man that is already, you know, already prepared, cares about others, Without time, without time, we don't have anything, okay? So watch. That defines a man, okay? If you're married, you're wedding ban. And a lot of people may think, uh, ah, that's just a sign that I'm taken. You know what, dude? I know a lot of freaking people out there that go for rings, okay? You want to know why? Because the wedding ban, the wedding ban, defines a man by uh, he's serious he's uh, he doesn't have time for the circus you know he's a person that already has responsibility and uh, understands that life is a cycle that's why it's a circle it keeps on going and going and going okay so that's the wedding band another thing uh, is the wallet Okay, this instrument right here, the, the wallet has been an issue for men for many, many, many years. And we didn't find out until about eh, the late 80s that the wallet was actually causing um, problems, uh, physical problems. A lot of men were coming up with back problems, uh, herniated discs, you know, Whatever the case is, guess what? Because they had a big-ass wallet this thick, 
and they got it on their back. And when they're sitting, they're sitting and they're uh, crooked. So guess what? When you're sitting crooked, you got some on your ass and it's freaking kicking you back up. So you kind of just sit there and you're crooked. And that really messed me up or messed people up, right? So in the 80s, they started coming up with, uh, the neurologists started coming up with all this, uh, all these issues. And they, um, they traced them back to wallets, okay? I don't know who, who, like where the word wallet came from, but I don't know if, because it was called the wallet, like I don't see how there's a connection between the wallet and your ass or your butt cheek. So does it mean that you have to carry the wallet on your ass or on your butt cheek? No, no. Matter of fact, proven medical proof has been that you can put your wallet in your front pocket and guess what? It's even safer, okay? But coming to today's technology, thieves out there walk around. They got these wands. They go around and they can freaking just scan your shit and they can get your uh, get your credit card information, get your information, whatever it is, they get it, okay? So... When talking about the wallet, shoot, I got to talk about extra. Why? Because they come up with a wallet that is uh, ideal for any man out there. And I'm talking to mom. You already got your presents, man. Yeah. Give your husband a chance. Okay, so this wallet right here is ideal for what we're trying to do here. One, it, I don't like to use the word forces, but gives you the option to pick the most important cards that you have. Okay, boom, boom, boom. You decide which six cards you have, and that's going to go into your main compartment, right? Your main compartment. And then you need to use it. You click, your cards come up. You get the card you need, make your purchase, do whatever it is that you're going to do, put it back, okay? You also have some compartments back here, so you can hold up to about six or seven cards. That's what I've been wearing, and only because I also have this little device right here. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to take it out. This little device right here, I love this because this device right here, if you lose your wallet, which I'm always losing, if you lose your wallet, you can use your phone and you can search for your wallet, GPS, and it'll take you right to where it's at and then it'll beep and it'll tell you, hey, you found me, dad, you found me. So um, that's the way that works, okay? But this is what I like about the other side of things because I've had people ask me and says, okay, so I used to have other devices that I was using to find uh, my phone or whatever, and, um, and my wallet and so on. And he says, okay, well, that's fine. But what if you lose your phone? Oh, shit. Yeah. If I lose my phone, then I can't find anything because everything's based off of my phone. Guess what? No. Extra has a way where this is your main device that you need right here. Because all you do is you grab your little card and you click on it. Dude. And then your phone starts ringing. So you start looking for your phone. Boom. You find it. Go on by your day. So what is a wallet? And what does it do for to complete the man, right? So the wallet, we can look at it as the uh, chest of treasures for a man, okay? It has everything that defines um, who we are. It has uh, your license, has the pictures or whatever of your family, um, it has, uh, your business cards, whatever it is, but that is your chest. That's what you carry. That's what you use to carry. You know, women use purses, right? Men use wallets. Now, did you learn something today? Does a wallet go on the ass? No. On the cheek? No. 
it goes wherever you want it to as long as it's extra. Because this right here, this is going to make it easy for you to do anything. So, dale a vive. Oh, what else? Oh, yes, we're going to have three giveaways. Uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to um, do the three giveaways, which is going to be uh, the parliament, right? Um, I got them. Can I open them? I don't want to open them, but the parliament, do we have a parliament somewhere? Let me, let me get a parliament ready. Um, okay, I'm going to show you the aluminum first. Okay, so the aluminum, okay, nice. They got different colors. Okay, but the ones we have are aluminum. aluminum, aluminum color. Then we have the Parliament. They got different colors also. They got the brown. They got the navy blue. They got the black. This one is for that executive person, you know, and it's really simple, like I said. I like it because you put your license. You put your money in here, like a sort of like a money, money band or a money clip. And then, of course, same concept. Click your cards. Ready to go. This is one of the giveaways. We got three. Three giveaways, and this is what you got to do. So what you got to do is you got to, one, subscribe. Two, get us five additional people to subscribe. Okay? So you get five people to subscribe to La Cruzada Radio, our YouTube channel, and uh, that puts you into the running into the running for this value to add about 90 bucks. About 90 bucks, okay? Now... Not only that, but we also have, Victor's going to put on the screen, we have uh, a code that you can use whenever you go to extra website. You can put the code uh, La Cruzada, La Cruzada nomás, La Cruzada, este, and, they'll, um, and, they, and they'll give you a 40% discount, okay? 40% discount. Believe me, man, dad's going to be happy with this. So let's take care of dad. Let's, let's think about dad this, this, uh, this season, because a lot of times father's day comes in, comes and goes, and we don't remember dad. So we got to take this opportunity to show dad w that we love him. Number two, dad, you, you listen to today's show. And if you learned anything today is your world, world, world of treasures. Okay. Those world of treasures are your memories, are your experiences. Okay. Don't sell yourself short. Okay, um, your value, your value is not in what you can see. Uh, it's not in a house. It's not in a car. Your value is the wisdom that you that you have, and that wisdom that you can share with your kids, and not only your kids but everyone. So take your time. Look look back at what you've learned. You've learned a lot. Believe me. Don't sell yourself short. You're not with your kids right now. Hey, give me a call. Give me a call. We'll get you back with your kids one way or another. I can guarantee you. We'll bring you on the show. We'll get you out there. Okay? And one of the most important things I want to leave with this, Vic, is don't use your kids as, as weapons. Okay? They're not weapons. They need you as much as they need the other parent. Okay? That is so important. So whoever's watching this, mom, um, they need dad. Whatever dad is, doesn't matter. They need him. Okay, at whatever capacity. Okay, there's something he can do, whatever it is. Shit, if he's in jail, he's already teaching them something. Okay, let's not close that, man. It's important for our kids to grow up knowing. Okay, so God bless you. Dala Vuelta Vive, and we'll see you next time.